What is up, everybody? I am Get Flanked, and in today's video, we're going to be doing another episode of how to rank up from gold to platinum. And this is a series that I've been doing on this channel for, uh, I guess, a couple of years now. It's always one of the most heavily requested videos uh, for me to do. People are always asking me to make another episode of this. Uh, and uh, in this episode, we're going to do it a little bit different. We're actually going to be going over an entire game. This game is uh, me playing in a five stack against uh, what I believe to be another five stack. I'm not completely sure of that, but it seems to me like they were a five stack. And in the lobby, you have a mixture of platinums and golds. And these are the games that you have to win. If you're going to rank up from gold to platinum, then you're going to have to beat some platinums along the way. And I think this is a really good showcase because it takes place on the reworked theme park. And um, that's one of the reasons I wanted to show this game is because uh, there's a lot of people like still trying to figure this out. And I think that if you're one of the people who goes and figures things out on a new map or a reworked map first, then that gives you a huge advantage in the rank matches you play on it. So I'm going to show you some of the things that I'm doing on theme park now. Uh, hopefully you can pick up some tips from that. And then what we'll do is before each round, I'll kind of talk about some things to look out for uh, and my thought process. And then you can watch that round and kind of pick apart uh, what I did right, what I did wrong, and hopefully we'll learn from all those things. Okay, so to go ahead and set up the first round, we're defending the throne room. And what you're going to see is I'm playing as Mozzie and I go on a room here. And I'm opening up lines of sights that are going to allow me to put pressure on the attackers as they're trying to push into the site. The throne room objective can be very strong as long as you resist the attackers from opening up walls uh, and make life difficult on them. Now, you're going to see as I roam here, they do not pressure me at all. The attackers focus pretty much 100% on the site. And I actually don't do a great job of uh, rotating to them quick enough. I do an okay job. I pick up a kill earlier in the round, but then I let them basically open up barrels for free and I don't rotate to where my teammates are getting pressured from on site fast enough. And that's something I should definitely do a better job of here. Um, so with that said, I'll shut up, let you watch the round. That one, maybe like, not like the throne, on the throne. They're, they're flashing here. Where, where, where is that? Uh, north, north, ADS north wall. Dragon, side dragon. They're already in dragon? Yep. Okay. They're mining? I couldn't get it. The barrels? Are they? Ash Dragon. Okay, Ash Dragon. Yeah. My, uh... Where did you die from? Where did you die from? Ah, a dragon. She just pre fired through the wall. I'm watching you, Jesus. I'm watching the cross. I got Zofia. Two are uh, Joint Commander. There's a shield on me. Okay. It's Monty. Where are they pushing you from? Barrels? Barrels. Okay. Nah, uh, I have to push him in hallway. Yeah, he just pushed He's barrels. He's in. Do they have barrels wall open? He can. Yes, they have. Okay, yeah, he just went through barrels. He's behind my shield. Okay. Other one's by the other side of the throne. Okay, he's dead. He's dead. Let's go. That's a Monte. Okay, I'm defusing. You just cover. I got 15 bullets, but I'll shoot. Let's go, baby. <laughs> Okay, so just a couple notes on that round before we get into the next one, and that is that committing to going after that Thermite and pretending that that Monty doesn't exist was the right call there, and that's something that you've got to do in those situations. If you're in a 2v2 with one person's a Monty, you pretty much just have to focus on the person that's not the Monty, get them off the board, and then once you're in a 2v1 against the Monty, that's going to be pretty difficult for that Monty to, to, to win as long as your other teammate plays that right. Um, so, uh, it was good that we committed to getting that thermite there in that situation. As, as far as moving on to round two here, um, what we learned from round one is that this team doesn't really roam clear and they put very aggressive pressure on the site directly early in the round. And we kind of lucked out with that round in all honesty, we lucked out that we were able to clutch up that round. But what you're going to see in this round, 
I don't adjust to that. I don't adjust to that by playing closer to the site. I again go off of my deep roam, and you're going to see that this time we don't get so lucky. Um, I go off of my deep roam. They put direct pressure on the site, and by the time that I get back to the site, we're, we've already lost it. So I'll let this round play. I was not going to let you die. I was trying so hard to keep Yeah, you, you, that evil eye actually was big. It really was because it allowed him to not focus on me. me early, I, I, I could have heard it earlier. Because I could have probably stopped playing or shot him yeah, I called up planning. Yeah, yeah I, heard the, I heard you say planning, but I guess I have an evil eye. Just say, just remind me. Jump on my... Uh, yeah. So I this, I this Ash was pretty aggressive, right? Like, they were, they were in... They were pretty fast, yeah. Watch an arcade or a bathroom oh, rush. Engage. Can we have an uh, impact in between sites? Um, yeah, I got it. Sick device. Wow, they have. Thermite got my uh, Valcam. They have a Monty as well. Marvis came up to control room. Okay. I can nitro cell under it, Red. When they drop hatch. Yeah, they're in. One's in. One's in. Hold on, I got it. I got it. Just be patient. Yep. No! I'm one. Right here, Red. Uh, Ash is already on, on site. So, where, okay, where's the Ash at, Red? Uh, Benny. I saw it. One's planting, one's, somebody's planting. In rotate, in rotate, Ash. Behind me. Monty on me. Friendly. Mario, on me, on double door, break room. One health. Break room door. Hard right of that thing. Taking you now. Shit. Okay, so again, the big thing with that round, I didn't adjust well. I tried to go do my deep roam, and I didn't adjust to the fact that they were playing a really aggressive, direct pressure, Monty uh, attacking strat. I should have been somewhere closer to uh, site. I should have maybe even been in sight. Uh, instead, I'm off on the other side of the map with another one of my teammates. He dies over there, and then by the time I get back, it's too late. Um, so bad round for me. I'm actually going to skip the next two rounds, and um, I'm not afraid to show rounds where I play bad or lose. There's just really nothing new in these rounds. Um, the next round here, again, they kind of do this Monty Ash push and kill me very early in the round. Uh, they end up winning that one, and then the first attacking round for us, um, we all die kind of in a in a in, in a uh, going through a doorway. So really not teachable moments in those rounds. But uh, moving forward here, we're going to I guess it would be what round five, and we are down three. Uh, one to three right now they have a three one advantage on us so looking at round five here what we learned in our first attacking round was that they played a really aggressive room defense and we should have expected that a lot of times teams that are really aggressive on attack are going to be aggressive on defense as well but it kind of caught us off guard it shouldn't have uh, but it did so that's why we ended up down one three now the adjustment we're going to make here is that i'm telling everybody let's just take a certain part of the map together instead of being spread out and then watch flank and try to use their aggressiveness against them a lot of times at this level if you just get a certain part of map control as a team the defenders will push towards you trying to pull off flanks trying to be aggressive and if you just put uh you know push as a team and then watch flanks as a team and watch each other's backs a lot of times you'll be able to get early picks just off of the defender's aggression. And that's what you're going to see us do here. Now, the next thing that we do really well in this is after we get a couple of those early picks and we have a couple man advantage, we take our time, collect ourselves, and find where the last two defenders are. And at that point, we're making life really difficult on the defenders to win the round. Um, the mistake that a lot of teams will make right here is getting the, the advantage uh, and then just pushing too aggressive and throwing their lives away as they all try and push at the same time. Make sure you're collecting yourself in these situations. Cafe. Got my drone. Cap. It's right on top of me. Can we drone control side? Yeah. That was Legion. Yeah, here was the office. Flash in the cafe too. What's going on with my mouse, dude? Like. 
Was that Jaeger? Yeah, I got Jaeger and uh, Lucian. Okay, flashes and calf. Uh, initiation Bottom clear. Okay, we can throw at this wall. Calf is clear. Office clear. She's going down red stairs. She's clear. We located a bomb. Get her in this barb. Somehow I hurt somebody? Yeah. Alright, anybody watching like Dragon Flank, anything like that? Clash, Clash is, Clash is break room right now. Clash is in uh, bathroom. Thermite has diffuser. Okay, so again, the big thing there was the adjustment to attack the defenders head on instead of trying to be spread out. Uh, a lot of times these really aggressive defenders will feast upon unorganized attacks where everybody's spread out throughout the map and they can take 1v1s. If you force them into a position where they're going to have to take on two attackers instead of just one and you have somebody droning for you, uh, a lot of times you can take their aggression and turn it into easy kills. That's the big takeaway from that round. Okay, moving on to round six, they're going to defend daycare again, okay? And this time you're gonna see we lose our thermite, our hard breach really early in the round. And that means that that same plan isn't gonna work as well for us because if we take control side of the map, uh, control cache side, we, we're, we're not gonna be able to breach that daycare wall or that bunks wall. And we're not, we're all going to have to push through a doorway basically is what it comes down to. So, um, based off of losing the thermite early in the round, I adjust as nomad to try and push from a different angle and, um, to try and take control of a different part of the map. Now me playing as nomad is going to aid in that. Um, again, we're playing against, I think they have a cab this time and I'm going to be able to cover my own flanks, uh, and drone for myself. And that's going to make me feel more comfortable, uh, pushing by myself. I probably shouldn't be doing this with the diffuser. That's one thing that I'll say, um, cause I, I do pick up the diffuser off the thermite after he dies. Um, that's probably one correction I would make here. Uh, but I think the fact of adjusting on the fly is the big thing that I take from this round. You know, you lose a thermite, you're not gonna sit there and complain about your teammate dying early. You're just gonna adjust, come up with a different plan uh, and try to, to uh, still win the round. Um, the uh, What you're gonna see here is me and the sledge stack up uh, on the yellow stairs. And the sledge makes a really aggressive move. And in all honesty, that probably wins us the round. The The sledge goes in and takes control of daycare, picks up a kill in the process, allows me to get in and plant in the default really protected spot. And that move right there probably wins us the round. So, uh, you know, being there with me, if he was by himself, that doesn't do us any good. But me being there with him uh, and then his aggression is really what was the difference in this round. I'm, I guess I'm gonna try and do, I guess, a sneak Watch attack out, through. Watch out, uh, Jaeger's right there inside cash. Yeah, I'm, I'm rotating to drug and trying to come up uh, Astro stairs, basically. Okay, there's a break room going to the control side. Where did Jaeger go? I don't know, he was in cash. They have a Goyo shield here too. Track deployed. Under us, Red. Oh, they have. They're doing Capkin Goyo combo. Goyo's dead. I'm top yellow. Cover your Okay, Doc. Where's Kevin? She was bottom of Dragon last scene. Doc was top Astro. Like the, the, the balcony. He's not there anymore. Okay. You have located a bomb. Yellow's clear. Okay, I'm coming yellow. Captain is playing inside of bunks. Come here, Panda. We can get a four-man guys right here. I'm in get back. That's Cab. Cab's on ping. I'm planning default red. I'm planning default right here. 
Uh, we're on top of each other. Yep. Yep. There's only one near y'all. Rotate. I'm watching rotate. Yeah, cap top north. Top yellow. Top yellow. Top yellow. Yeah. That would be. That's Cav. That's Cav. Over here. Fox, Fox, Fox. Go. Okay, so we came back from being down one three to get it to overtime. We're gonna start out on defense in overtime here, and the big takeaway from this next round is gonna be me making adjustments. Think back to that first round on defense that we played. We are going to be defending throne room again uh, and they attacked from barrels with the Monty and they were really aggressive in pushing barrels, opening the wall and pushing into throne room there. We were lucky to win that round if you remember. So I'm going to adjust finally off of that. I didn't adjust very well in regulation as far as you know adjusting to them playing really aggressive. In, in overtime here as a defender, I am going to adjust to this really aggressive push. And what you're going to see is me going above barrels, opening the hatch and the Defending barrels from there. I want to keep them from taking control of barrels easily. And this is where it comes back to learning these maps before your opponents do. Um, this is a new hatch. A lot of people aren't aware of this line of sight. A lot of people aren't thinking about this yet. But me opening it, holding the line of sight, allows me to get an early kill and really sets the tone for the round. Try to impact you. I'll just stay alive and throw my goose. Can you put your shotgun holes in barrels too? Wall flank? Yeah. Get the only shotgun. Uh, yep, yep, yep. The top. Gotcha. Alright, what needs reinforce? Anything? from this north wall last time too. No, yeah, Ash was throwing flashes over the top of it. Located a bomb. I think she's just trying to distract. Okay, well at least they have to waste something. Okay, I don't think we have anybody watching. Open maintenance, I think. They open barrels, 100%. Yep. That was one barrel's window. Definitely a, a shield. Ash is uh, bottom yellow, about to be in blue hallway flank. Okay. You open that hatch in blue, like bunk area. Okay. Arcade. Can you go oh, arcade. Do you need me to go arcade? Yeah, you arcade stairs. They She's killed the about thermite. She's looking at the door. I don't know where she is. I don't know what you're describing She's right, right now. She's right here on ping. If you go down arcade stairs. Okay. She's okay. Right by the door. That's blue. The door. Hall. The door that goes to barrels. No, blue hall. This. Mountain dragon. That's where Ash was. I'm pretty sure they killed the thermite. So. <laughs> Shut up my game. Bugs out there. Ash. Ash and Monty dragon. No, that's Reloading, that's dragon. Cover me. Buck's dead. Reloading mag! Got the side run. Got the highlight. I'll line up. Yeah, it seems like they're both on the dragon side now, Flank. Ash Mountain. Set Nitro! Let me know if Monty's in. I have a trial. See you on side door. <laughs> Ash and Monty, last two alive. The uh, all right, Monty. Here, I, I might be able to get back to you guys. Oh, Ash, right dragon wall. I'll fix you. This one, Monty. Monty, left side of dragon. He comes in, he's gonna get a goof. Right now, uh, behind the dragon statue. Yeah, he's just. What was that? 
Okay, so again, just seeing how I got that early kill on barrels, I took away what they initially wanted to do, and I really think that threw them off for the remainder of the round. Uh, they didn't really uh, establish any footing. It was a much different round than the first time that they attacked us when we were defending throne room. So good adjustment by me. That's the big takeaway there. All right, we're going to skip ahead to round nine. We lost the previous attack. They defended throne room and did a pretty good job against us. So moving on to round nine, we're defending bunk daycare. And this time, the adjustment I'm going to make is spending less time on the other side of the map, coming back and playing underneath the cafe to try and make call outs using my cardiac sensor as pulse to feed information to my teammates. And you're going to see that works pretty well. Uh, the Legion RNG on my team does a good job. It's a, a 3K based off of the information from me and other teammates. And uh, that gives us a really big advantage, which we eventually throw away. And I'm not going to spoil how the round ends here, uh, but I will say that map knowledge once again comes into things, especially as a pulse. Knowing what's soft, knowing what's not really plays a huge factor uh, in whether or not we win this round. So with that said, I'll let it play out. Bullshit, like as soon as I die, somebody's pre-firing exactly where he shot me from. But I should have said, hey, push now. Stairs push. Sounds push. like they have a Cali. I heard a shot. <coughs> I think they're where I was. We're pulling up to cash. They're already. They're cafe. Pushing cafe, guys. Okay. Like I'm in drug storage. It's clear right okay. now. Okay. I'm coming. Open. Okay. Yeah, they got they got uh, they got open for me too. Survey. I'm trying to cover. They're not in cafe yet. No, uh, yeah, they're not in cafe yet. Keep holding it. Yeah. Okay, in cafe now. Killed him. Ash was still arcade. Like, I'm watching the window if she jumps in. I don't see anybody else cafe. Nobody, uh, actually one, running it out. He's on one person cafe balcony. Uh, bathroom windows for help. Dead. Arcade window, jumped in. Cafe, yeah. Dead. 5v2, just be smart. Nothing cafe. They're on repel, but there's a nomad on this window. Okay, I can jump out. Are they on like the? On I can pay. Oh, where? From... Where's this? I can't tell. Yellow. Oh. To... There's a there's a nomad. There's a nomad. On that. So. Where did you die from? I. That corridor that's right outside of. Bedroom. That's words. Yeah, right here. Uh, it would right be outside. it would be a top like yellow, like initiate yeah, yellow office. Initiation. Watch out for the window behind you, Red. It is open. Yep. Oh my God. Door. He just ran by. Okay, right here. That's not soft. I'm, I'm playing for the plant, I guess, at this point. Yep. One's in B. One's in B. In, in barrels. Uh, here, I'll be able to get a nitro cell kill. Just hold on. I'll be able to give you info. Uh, right, right here. Right here. Right here. Uh, be patient. You got it. Dead. Let's go. Let's go, brother. Here, get this diffuse. Where is it? Yeah, go ahead and get it if you see it. I can't see it. It's not in that room, am I? Where the Please find it. Right here. <laughs> find it, never identified it. I never went on the side though. Friendly destroyed the diffuser. Thank God. Okay, so I'm not going to sit there and tell you that I played that perfect. Um, I think that going underneath the cafe, given that information, 
that was that was huge. And then my my teammate starts to throw the five v two advantage away. Uh, and I probably should have rotated upstairs earlier. I got lucky to get that nitro cell. I got lucky that my teammate that was alive with me got the kill instead of dying. You know, if my teammate dies there and leaves me in a one v two, that's a really bad situation. So uh, all in all, I think the big takeaway here is I made adjustments based off of what the other team was doing, both on defense and attack. And I think that's what really won us the round. Um, so with that said, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure that you like and subscribe, and I'll have more coming your way here soon.